a production of the Darien Athletic Foundation. We bring you boys high school varsity basketball between the Black Knights of Stanford facing off against the Blue Wave, Darien Blue Wave. I'm Brendan Ross alongside me, Damian Andrews. Great to be with you, Brendan. Another night in the FCAC. This is an important matchup for both teams as they fight for a spot in that FCAC tournament in about another month. Take you over the starters for this game tonight for the Black Knights. Jelani Jackson, Tyler Lancedale, Tevin St. John, Jay Judon, and Josh Thurvell. That's your starting five for the Black Knights. And for the Blue Wave, starting at point guard, Justin Jordan. Starting at shooting guard, number two, Will Rolap. Starting at small forward, number 22, Henry Williams. Your captain, Jack Tierney. And your co-captain, Andrew Darby. Key players to watch in this game tonight. Number one, the point guard for the Blue Wave, Justin Jordan. In the last game, he had 16 points. That was first Danbury in their loss, 60 to 50, and he recorded two rebounds. So he's your key player to watch in today's uh, competition. Yeah, Justin Jordan had a terrific first half two games ago against Brian McMahon. 16 points in that first half. He was just lights out, so it'll be interesting to see what he does tonight against this Black Knight squad coached by Zach Smith in his second season as the Stanford head coach. And of course, Darianne coached by Sheroy Bentley. Jordan has the ball. Darianne in their home white attire, working from right to left, and the Black Knights of Stanford working from left to right in their away black unis. Roll up with the three, contested, no good off the front rim. Number 21, Jay Judon gets the rebound. Jordan on the defense, takes a shot, no good. Darby with the rebound. Jordan works it up court. Josh Thurvell on defense. Pass it over to Rollap. Pick by Tierney. Darby with the ball on top of key. Passes it off to Jordan. Nice inside look to Williams. Goes up. Gets blocked. It's a jump ball. That was a nice look inside to Williams. Unfortunately, can't get it up and in for the Blue Wave. So, Jay Judon brings the ball up court, passes it to his left side. They take a three, and that's good. Jelani Jackson, the captain, hits the three. Rollap brings it up court. 3-0, Black Knights lead. Pass it off. Rollap still with the ball, looks to his right for Jordan, passes it inside. Finds Tierney. Back to Williams. Trying to set something up. As Damien stated, there's no play clock, no running clock for Connecticut High School Varsity Basketball. You want to play four corners all game long? You can do that in Connecticut. Williams with the three, back rim, no good. Ball on the ground, tie up. Stanford gets it, passes it off to St. John. And that's a block. What a block by Tierney. All ball right there by your captain, Jack Tierney. But the Black Knights get the rebound. Tevin St. John goes up and under and gets the two points. Stafford leads 5-0. First quarter. Roll out with the ball. Trying to shake his defender. Getting nothing. Passes it to Williams. Trying to run a play right now. Passes to the right side of meet. The starting point guard, Justin Jordan. Gets the foul. As we stated, Justin Jordan is your key player to watch tonight. Averages 17.2 points per game. One assist, two rebounds, and almost two steals. He got 1.8. Having a nice season for the Blue Wave. Turnover on Darian, trying to make something happen. Stanford and Jack Tierney with the tip away. But it's going to stay on that side. 528 remains in the first quarter. It's Stanford ball. They pass it to the right side. Thurvo passes it out. 
Stanford trying to set something up. Thurva with the ball. Passes it to Lancedell, working his way in. Out on the three-point range. Takes the shot. No good. It's the bottom window. Lancedell with the rebound. And he gets the put back. And that's a good. Second chance point opportunities. Stanford's leading it. And if you're uh, Darianne head coach Sheroy Bentley, you can ill afford to have second chance points come against you. McMahon had that the other day. We saw that in that game. That was a tight matchup. That Darianne came away with the win. Seemed to be a tie up on the Darianne side. Stanford comes with the ball. Tierney with the reach and foul on Jay Judon. This is reminiscent of Darianne's start in that game against Brian McMahon. Brian McMahon scored the first 15 points of the ball game, and then Darianne scored the next 14 points to get back in it. We have a substitution for the wave. Mitchell Pryor comes on for Jack Tierney. That's a tip pass. The blue Wave gets it. That seems to be a foul. Nice steal there by Henry Williams as he steps into the passing lane. That's another kid that should catch your eye tonight. Had five points last game, but averages of almost seven points. You mentioned Mitchell Pryor in the game now for Darianne, of course, the star running back for the Blue Wave football team in the fall. Pryor with the rebound. Jordan drives his way in, gets the floater. That's good. Two points for the Blue Wave. Jordan able to get into the lane that time through penetration and scores the bunny. Nice little bunny hop. Judon works it up court, passes it to Thurvell with the three. No good. Back window. Gets his own rebound. Put back. That's good. Second chance point opportunities for Stanford. They're leading that stat column right now. Darian's got to put a stop on that. With the quick, quick fast break, roll up to Jordan. That's two points. Stanford, so that, Stanford leads. Sorry, Damian. That, no, that's okay. That time, uh, Stanford, the uh, second chance points again, but then they fail to get back on defense, and Darian able to score in transition. And that was Jay Judon underneath with the putback. That's two points for him. Jay Judon, only a freshman for Stanford, had the chance to talk to Black Knights head coach Zach Smith before this game. He's very high on the freshman. He said physically he is right there with any player. So a bright future for Stanford if Judon at the point. And especially they're having a pretty good start of their season in an FCAC play. They're five and four with their last win. Last game, they got a win. So it's bright things for the Black Knights. That win was against Brian McMahon. They won 52 to 45. As we mentioned at the outset of our broadcast here on DAF um, Media, both of these teams really trying to fight for one of those playoff spots in the FCAC tournament. Uh, Stanford is uh, still on the outside looking in. If this playoffs were to start today, they're really tied for ninth in the standings. Darian has some work to do, just one win in the FCAC. Jelani Jackson with a three ball. Substitution for the Blue Wave. Pierre Bradle comes on for Henry Williams. Darianne coming off a 60 to 50 loss at Danbury. Always a tough place to play at Danbury. And of course this Stanford program rich in tradition. They've had a lot of success there through the years. Breda with the ball. Pass it to his right side prior. Big man. That's what that's what Darian has this good this season. That they got a lot of big men they can put underneath, whether it's a Mitchell Pryor is strong underneath, or Andrew Darby, or Tierney, or even Williams. You got those big guys that you can put underneath the hoop and get those rebounds. Rebound, roll out, works his way in. 
And that's going to be a foul on Rolak. Exactly, yeah, an offensive foul. 132 remains in the first quarter. Stanford leads Darian 14 to 4. The inbound to Judon. He's bringing up court. Pass it to his right for Jaden Bell. They put up a three, no good. You can just tell Judon has a presence about him on the floor. Nice young player for the Black Knights. And as I mentioned, head coach Zach Smith very high on the freshman. Exactly, that's what you need in a point guard, a playmaker, a guy that you can run the, 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 the team through. Um, and he's been, so far through the game, he's been executing in that very well. Breda with the ball, works it inside for a Jordan. Jordan works his way out, passes it to the left. Back out to Pryor, Breda with the pump fake. That's a turnover. Bell, no good, that's a block from Peter Breda. They get the rebound, put back, no good again. Nice hustle play that time by Peter Bradle as he hustles back on defense after making the turnover and comes up with the block. Substitution. Henry Williams comes in for Will Rollap. Judon passes it in the inbound. That goes to Jelani Jackson over to Tevin St. John. Seems like they're going to try to get the last shot on this quarter. 24 seconds remaining. A little rainbow pass. Easy. Bredo with the two points. Nice fast break play right there. Jordan working on uh, Tevin St. John. Works his way in. Gets two points. Jordan. Nasty foul, but sportsmanship there. Yeah, Jordan looked at uh, the freshman and says, I'm all right, as he gets up. Got blindsided. Yeah. Peter Bredo on the inbound, right in front of our booth. 3.3 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Stanford leads 16 to six. Inbound to, supposed to be Williams, but that was a little too high of an arc pass. So it is Stanford ball. Tyler Lancedell came up with that ball in the last play. And it stays on the Darien side. Got 0.7 seconds remaining. And that is it for the first quarter. End of one, Stanford leads Darien 16 to six. So far it's been... All black nights in all the first nights. quarter as Darianne has some work to do to get back in this. Showed some flashes there in the first quarter, but the uh, Black Knights have come out strong in their man-to-man -man defense and uh, offensively getting some second chance baskets to go down, and that has been a uh, big difference in this game. As I was saying earlier, the senior class for this blue wave is pretty strong this year. They got Justin Jordan, who's their key player, their point guard. They also have Jackson Vaught, Arthur Xanthos, who's injured, Mitchell Pryor, Jack Tierney, their captain, and their co-captain, Andrew Darby, and Sean Collins. So that's a good number of seniors on this roster for the Blue Wave. And a number of multi-sport athletes, as exactly. we've talked about on previous broadcasts. I mentioned Stanford's success as a program through the years. They last won an FCAC championship in 2009, had the uh, opportunity to cover their run to that conference title, beat Trinity Catholic, their city rival in the title game, in double overtime. Great game, great atmosphere at Fairfield Ward High School. Stanford actually came back from an 11-point deficit in the second half. Chris Evans was the tournament MVP, and of course, Stanford back then was coached by the legend, Jim Moriarty. Jordan works his way in, gets nothing, but comes away with the foul. Your five for the blue wave consists of Justin Jordan at point guard, will roll up at shooting guard, Henry Williams at small forward, Andrew Darby at power forward, 
And your other captain, Jack Tierney, at center. Jordan with the first free throw, it's good. At the line, as we said, averages 17 points per game. He's their leading point scorer for the Blue Wave. Second free throw is good. Stanford leads Darian 16 to eight. Thurville brings it up court. Roll up on defense. Pass it to the left side for Bell. Puts a three up, no good. All window. Darian with the rebound, trying to put something quickly up. Jordan works his way in. That's a block by Landisell. A nasty block. A little That's bit of a frenetic pace right now, Brendan. Darian brought that ball up on the last possession, and it's been upbeat since uh, that last play. Kind of like that JV game we uh, covered last week. Brian McMahon and Darian, yeah, that was a back and forth uh, game. Up tempo to say the least. Thurvell with the ball. No good. Stanford with the rebound. Second chance. That's a block. Three blocks. Roll out with the ball. Pass it to Williams. Left corner for Tierney. In the middle for Darby. No good. Lannisell comes up with the rebound. Nice look by Tierney inside to Darby. He just couldn't convert the deuce. Three ball, no good for Jaden Bell. Darian gets the rebound and Williams brings it up court. Tries to start something, roll out, pulls it out, slows the pace down. Stamford stays in that man-to-man -man defense. Picked by Darby. Works his way into a three ball from Tierney. That's all there. Landisell with another rebound. Darian not getting its players in the paint to get those rebounds. It's mainly the Black Knights. Stanford with the ball. Bell to Landisell to Bell. Back to Landisell, trying to post roll lap up. With the spin, no good. Loose ball, Darby with the rebound, works his way up. Jordan with the three. Kapuya, that's a three ball for Justin Jordan. That was a nice kick out by Darby in the open floor, running the break, sees Jordan spotted up behind the three point arc and he gets it to him and Jordan wide open that time. Ball was thrown to the back of Jack Tierney's head, I believe. Henry Williams brings it up court, passes it to uh, no. He was looking for Tierney, looking just a little Tierney. miscommunication there that time. Tierney had his head down, looking to go to the basket, and Williams zipped him a chest pass and just went out of bounds. Tierney not ready for it. So, substitutions for the blue wave. Darby comes off, Pryor comes in. Bradle also comes in for Henry Williams. Stanford trying to force his way in, but that's a foul on Mitchell Pryor. So Jay it'll, Judon. It'll be Jay Judon inbounding the ball underneath the Stanford basket. Been a common name in this live stream so far. He passes it out for a three ball. Bang. Three ball. Josh Thurvell with a three pointer. Stanford leads 19 to 11. That's a steal for Thurvell. Brings it up court. That's a block by Jack Tierney. It's a block party here at Darien High School. Both teams uh, have had a number of blocks already here. We've still got five minutes and two seconds left in the first half. Tierney, such a presence in the paint for the Blue Wave. Tall and long and athletic. Roll up, brings the ball up court, works his way in, hits the front rim, no good. Stanford ball. 451 remains in the second quarter. Darian seems to be putting some half court pressure up on now. Judon works it up court, trying to shake his defender, passes it back out for the three ball. 
Front rim, no good. That is Darianne's ball. I think what Darianne head coach Sheroy Bentley is going to tell his guys at halftime, they have got to do a better job on the boards. That is where Darianne is getting beat in this game with 4.30 remaining in the opening half. Pass to roll up. Tries to cross his defender with the floater. No good. Stanford with the rebound. They're working it up court. Quick pace game so far. They pull it out. St. John with the ball passes it to Chudon. Trying to make something happen here. Works his way inside. No good on the layup. Gets the point. Gets the rebound. And gets the points. And he's going to the line. I'm told by our statistician, Ted Brennan, that uh, Stanford out-rebounding out -rebounding, uh, Darianne 10 to 3. So, substitutions here. Pryor comes out. Tierney comes in. Roll-up comes out. And Henry Williams comes in. That's for the blue wave on Stanford's side. Jaden Bell comes out, and your captain, Jelani Jackson, comes back in. Free throws, no good. Tierney, intended pass was for Tierney by Andrew Darby. That was tipped that out was, of bounds. That was a nice idea by Darby as Tierney wide open underneath the basket, but the ball was tipped, and Darianne retains possession. Prado with the inbound. Passes it out to Jack Tierney. Tries to shake him off. Left-handed, put up, that's good. Nice move by Tierney, strong move to the basket for the easy deuce. Thurval brings it up. Landisells back in for the Black Knights. They pass it to Jelani Jackson. And we have got a full crew here for DAF Media tonight for this uh, home game for the Darianne Blue Wave boys basketball team. Ben Olson directing, Ted Brennan on stats, as I mentioned, Jackson Leone on camera two, and Emily Finland and Kara Tracy on camera one. Great to have everybody aboard for this one. So Stanford contains possession of the ball. Landisell inside, passes it out with the three ball. No good, Darby with the rebound. 2.46 remains in the second quarter. Jordan works his way in. No good on the layup. Landisell with the foul. And I believe Justin Jordan's going to the line. Yeah, Jordan's going to go to the line as he draws contacts, draws the foul. Strong move by Jordan. He's at his best when he's able to get by his defender, get into the lane, and he can create, either look for an open man or take it himself. First free throw is good for Jordan. Substitution for the Black Knights. Tevin St. John is coming in for Tyreem Burgess. Darian is not full squad tonight. They are missing one of their key starters. Brother to Captain Andrew Darby, that is Ryan Darby. Jordan with the, makes the next free throw. So he is four for four from the line tonight. As I was saying, Ryan Darby is ill tonight. He usually averages seven points per game. At Danbury, he had two points, three rebounds and one steal. Judon works it up court, inside to Landisell, puts it up, no good. Bradle with the rebound, Stanford with the pressure, and the ball stays with the Black Knights. 2.26 remains in the second quarter, Stanford leads Darianne 21 to 15. Inbound play is Blocked by Bradle, so it stays 
down there for Stanford. Stanford still with the inbound. When I spoke to Stanford head coach Zach Smith before the ball game, he knew that Darianne was going to come out strong in this game and give him a really competitive game. Has a lot of respect for Blue Wave head coach Sheroy Bentley. Of course, Sheroy Bentley, great player himself at Harding High School in Bridgeport. Stanford working it up, passes it to the right side. No good for the three ball. Bredo comes up with the rebound to tie up. And Andrew Darby calls the timeout. So a timeout here for Darian with 1.58 left, under two minutes remaining in the first half. And Darian trying to creep back into this game after Stamford jumped out to a big early lead. We mentioned uh, Stanford head coach Zach Smith. Of course, he played at Connecticut College Division III program. And what I found interesting in my discussion with him, I've known Zach for a while now. When he was a senior, his Connecticut College team made it to the Division III Final Four. Lost in the national semifinals, unfortunately for them, but uh, a really good player in his own right in high school and college. He's originally from the Boston area. And of course, as I mentioned uh, before a few moments ago, Sheroy Bentley, the Darianne head coach, terrific player at Harding High School, helped them, helped them win a FCAC championship. He played for his dad, Charlie, one of the all-time winningest basketball coaches in the state of Connecticut. Jordan with the ball, with the floater. That's good. Two points for Justin Jordan. And again, Brendan, that is where Jordan is at his best. When he can get into the lane, beats his defender, beats the defense, and is able to create. As you say, puts that little bunny hop. <laughs> nice little floater. Three-point ball, no good for Stanford. Peter Bredo with the rebound. Darian with the ball. Jordan working it up court. Works to his right side. Back to the left. Pass it to Williams. Back to Jordan. Tierney on the inside. Tip pass by Stanford. That's Stanford ball. St. John with the tip pass. They pass it out for the three ball. No good. And it seems to be a tie up underneath that goes back to Stanford. Darian not holding on to the rebounds couple of loose balls that has gone back to the Black Knights for their possession. They're trying to run a quick play. 33 seconds remain in the second quarter. Thurville with the ball, passes it to his right wing. Thurville back with the ball. Back and forth passing. Trying to get that last shot off. Wasting all they can off the clock. Yeah, it looks like Stanford is content to take the last shot and head into the locker room with a lead. Stanford with the shot, the layup, no good. Fouled on the play. And he is going to the free throw line. So Darby with the foul. St. John will go to the line to see if he can extend this Black Knights lead to eight points. Makes first, the first one. First three throw is good. Substitution. Roll up comes on for Bradle. And Stanford is still at the line. Tevin St. John, 2.6 remaining. Left in the second quarter. Ball's up, no good. Darby with the rebound. Pass to Jordan, and that concludes your first half. Stanford leads Darian 24 to 17. Damian, final thoughts before we go into our halftime break. Well, Stanford jumped out to the big lead early in this game. Darian has kind of tried to creep back into it, but again, Stanford dominating the boards in this first half. 
and that has really been the different. A lot of second chance opportunities for the Black Knights. So, Stanford leads 24 to 17. We'll be back in a couple minutes for your stats report. And we are here, back on the campus of Darien High School for your halftime report by yours truly, Ted Brennan, with the leading point scores and rebound scores. Ted. Thanks so much, Brendan. Uh, for the Stanford Black Knights, Tevin St. John, their captain, leads 
their team with seven points. He also recorded two assists. Um, and for rebounds, Tyler Lanzadell, St. John, and Josh Thurville uh, all have three rebounds. For your Darian Blue Wave, Justin Jordan leads all scoring with 13 points. He went four for four from the free throw line. He's shooting four for five, and he's got one three point, uh, one three pointer. <clears throat> uh, Andrew Darby leads all rebounders with five rebounds, and Justin Jordan and Will Rollap have an assist apiece. Thanks, Ted. So, Stanford leads 24 to 17. Three minutes. We'll be back for your third quarter. So long. And we are back here, live on the campus of Darien High School. Stanford leaves, leads Darien 24 to 17. At the beginning of the third quarter, Stanford starts with the ball. So Darien comes out in a man-to-man -man defense. Head coach Sheroy Bentley likes to play man-to-man. -man. A nice rebound there by Tierney. Tierney with the rebound, tries to pass it to Jordan, but that gets tipped away, so it's going to stay down on Darian's side. That's a Darian ball. Roll up, bringing it up the court. Pressure by St. John. Williams with the ball. Pass it to the right wing. 
Darby with the shot, no good. Tip ball by Tierney. Stanford gets it, brings it up court. Nice up and under, Sidell with the rebound, no good. Jordan gets the ball, slowed the pace down, which was good right there. Works to his right side, trying to make something happen. And Stanford comes out in a man-to-man -man defense. Three ball, and that's good for JJ, their starting point guard. The five for Darianne consists of Justin Jordan, Will Rollap, Jack Tierney, Andrew Darby, and Henry Williams. See, and after that three ball, if I was Justin, I'd be getting hot right now. <laughs> he usually, after that, after he makes one of those, he bangs that court. As right there, that fast break opportunity. Jordan on the receiving end of that play. And Up with the ball, two points for Darian. And Stanford head coach Zach Smith has seen enough as he wants a 30 second timeout to talk things over with his team as Justin Jordan has come out on fire here to start the second half. Has scored the last five points of this ball game. Hits the big three from the corner. And it puts him, Darianne, within two. Stanford leads 24-22. Our statistician just informed us, Ted Brennan, that Justin Jordan leads the game with 18 points. That's one less than his outing versus McMahon last Friday where he uh, had nine points, 19 points, sorry. Versus Danbury, he had 16 points, and his average is uh, 17 points per game. So that's, that average is going up tonight. Yeah, he has had a, a nice season thus far for the Blue Wave. And Especially after coming out, not coming out last season, focusing on baseball. Takes a year off, comes back this year, and he's your leading point scorer for the Blue Wave. Yeah, what a nice addition for Darian head coach Sheroy Bentley to have Justin Jordan, a double figure scorer, come out this year and really lead this Blue Wave team. Judon at the line, misses his first shot. As I said, Justin Jordan being a play baseball player. There are a couple baseball players on this team that consisting of Henry Williams, Arthur Xanthos, who is in injured, Jackson Vaught, and as I stated, Justin Jordan. Justin Jordan and Arthur Xanthos actually being co-captains on this year's varsity team. Williams with the inbound to number two, Will Rollap for Darianne. Williams with the three-pointer. No good. Back rim. Ball up. Stanford ball. Williams uh, had pressure on him and uh, forced that shot just a little bit. Seemed a little confusion on the last play call by the refs. St. John's with the inbound. Pressure from Darian. Roll up, pressuring. Thurvell who gets away, up with the two, and that's good. Pretty pull-up jump shot that time by Thurvill. Nice little stop and pop. Williams with the pump fake, back to roll out. Off to Tierney on the left side. Williams back with the ball. Stanford Trying. stays in that man-to-man -man defense. Very tight on the defense right now. Not really getting a man open to Make something happen. Darby underneath, no good. And Stanford really forcing Darianne at the beginning of the third quarter. Loose ball. Jordan trying to keep it in bounds, but. Nice it, hustle play nice that hustle. time by Very Justin nice Jordan. All around good addition to the team, whether it's scoring points or a hustle play. Stanford with the ball. St. John with the pull-up. Splash. That two was points. A, that was a deep two for St. John. That's a foul on Rollap. He made that two-pointer. St. John had a brother who played at Trinity Catholic for the longtime head coach there, Mike Walsh. 
he certainly had some terrific teams through the years. Substitution for the Black Knights. Jaden Bell comes on for Jay Judon. Foul on Andrew Darby. So he's going to take a break is Darby, and Mitchell Pryor checks back into the ball game. And the possession turns from Darian to Stanford. Stanford trying to get the inbound. And that is a turnover on Stanford. So first it was Darian's ball on this side. Now then Stanford, and now back to Darian. Roll up, trying to get an inbound. Finds Williams. They're trying to slow it down and start something up. Five minutes remaining in the third quarter. Williams with the shot, no good. Stanford with the rebound. Foul on Tierney. Williams hasn't been able to get that jumper to fall 0 for 4 from the field tonight. Has terrific form though on that jump shot. Substitutions for the Blue Wave. Williams comes off, Jack Turney comes off, Jackson Vaught comes on, and Peter Bradle also on the court. St. John with the ball, picked by Sinadel. St. John with the layup. That's good, easy two points. Jay Vaught with the three, no good. Stanford comes up with the rebound. Up and under, no good. Jordan with the rebound. Trying to fast break opportunity. That's good. Justin Jordan with the finger roll. JJ getting it done for the Blue Wave as they try to pull closer to Stamford here in this uh, really important FCAC matchup for both teams. Thurville with the, the shot, no good. Stamford with the rebound. Second chance opportunity, also no good. Seems to stay. Yeah, Mitchell Pryor was whistled for stepping out of bounds, but as we were just talking about, Brendan, you know, in important matchup for both teams. You know, Stanford is right there in terms of the FCAC playoff picture. Darianne, meanwhile, just one conference win. They need to get going here if they want to get into the conference tournament. Exactly. They had a strong win against McMahon last Friday. Jordan with a layup. Two points for him. And they need more of that <laughs> from Justin Jordan. Bradle applying the pressure and that he comes with a foul. Next up for Darianne, they head on over to play Wilton at home, six and two Wilton on January 23rd. That should be a good competition. And DAF Media will be carrying that game as well. We'll also be broadcasting the junior varsity game that night against Wilton. Jay Vaught. Jackson Vaught with the fast break opportunity gets fouled on the back. So number 11, Jackson Vaught is heading to the line. That foul was committed by Tyler Lancedell. Stanford leads, sorry Damian, Stanford leads 30 to 27 with 3.20 left in the third quarter. No, excuse me, Brendan. I, I uh, just wanted to thank everybody for watching this live stream on the DAF Media Network. FC Act Boys basketball between Darian and Stanford. So the two free throws from Jackson Vaught were good. And this is starting to get interesting, Brendan Ross. Very interesting. As Darian is down just two here in a, in a game that really has been controlled by Stanford throughout. After that first quarter, Darian was very silent. Lancedo with the shot, no good. Rebound by Br uh, Bradle, sorry. As I was saying, first quarter for the Blue Wave is pretty silent. And now we're kind of 
coming awake after the, the halftime break. Jerry with, Ann with, with a chance to tie it up that time down the floor. Second chance opportunity, and that's good. Stanford with the two points. Roll up, bringing it up court. The five for Darianne consists of Will Rollap, Peter Bradel, Jackson Vaught, Mitchell Pryor, and Justin Jordan. Nice and Will strong Rollup. move that time by Will Rollap. Very strong move. So, on the floor right now, only two starters for the Blue Wave. That's Rollap and Jordan. I believe Jack Tierney is in foul trouble. Stanford with the three, no good. Bradle with another rebound. And is fouled on that play. And Derek. I believe that is on Lansadell with the foul. Two quick fouls in a couple minutes for Tyler Lansadell. Roll up, bring it up. Left side of the court gets a pick from Jackson Vaught. Works the way in with the shot. Front rim, no good. Pryor with the rebound, passes it out to Vaught with the three. And that is all air for Jackson Vaught. Stanford bringing it up court. Thurvell passes it to the left for Jackson. Just a little handoff by Lancedale. And Thurvell is fouled on that play. And that'll be a blocking foul on Mitch Pryor as Thurville tries to blow by him and get to the rim. So an entertaining game here in the second half as uh, Darianne has pulled close. Down just two with a minute 15 remaining in the third quarter. Substitutions for both teams. Jack Tierney comes on for Jackson Vaught. And Jay Judon, your starting underclass and point guard, comes on for Jaden Bell. That was a travel by Stanford. Darian Ball down by two. 109 left in the third quarter. Substitutions for the Black Knights. Two new players getting some minutes in for this game. So it'll be interesting what the final nine minutes bring us here on the DAF Media Network. Very competitive FCAC boys basketball game. Back-to-back -back weekends with, back-to-back uh, -back Friday, sorry, with uh, very good competition. Darian showing up. Tierney with the pass, gets the ball, good two points. And that was a really nice look that time by Peter Bradel as he finds Tierney underneath for the easy bucket. Coach Zach Smith has to take a timeout, trying to slow this Darian offense down. That two points from Jack Tierney ties the score up. 32 all. 37 seconds left remaining in the third quarter. And we've got ourselves a ball game here, Brendan Ross. We've got Ross. ourselves a ball game. Again, our uh, DAF uh, media crew on hand tonight, Ted Brennan doing stats for us, doing a terrific job. Ben Olson directing on camera one up in the stands, Emily Finland and Kara Tracy. And on our camera two is Jackson Leone. Jackson and Ben and Ted all playing games prior to this one. Ted Brennan on the freshman team here at Darianne. The freshman team getting a big win in overtime tonight and uh, Ben Olson, Jackson Leone play for the uh, Darianne Blue Wave JV basketball team. Coming up a little short against the Black Knights tonight before this one. So play resumes here at Darianne High School. Stanford starts with the ball, trying to make something happen. 14 seconds remaining. Stanford's gonna have the last shot. Three quarters all with the last shot. Trying to make something happen. Thurvey with the ball. Three-pointer, no good. Pryor with the rebound. And half-court shot. No good. So, end of third quarter. All tied here at Darien High School. 
Very exciting for both teams, especially FCAC play here Friday nights. Yeah, this is what it's all about, Brendan Ross. Uh, competitive game, Friday night high school basketball doesn't really get any better than this. The uh, Darianne girls basketball team at Stamford tonight. And uh, DAF Media will be broadcasting the boys hockey game tomorrow night from the Darianne Ice House. Darian taking on Fairfield Prep, one of the juggernauts in the state, number one ranked boys hockey team in the state of Connecticut. And it's a rematch of a game from earlier in the season at the Wonderland of Ice in Bridgeport. Prep getting the better of the Blue Wave on that night. And then of course next week, we've got high school boys basketball on Tuesday again. We're going to do a little boys swimming on Wednesday from the Darien YMCA and then high school girls basketball Friday night as the Blue Wave entertained Ridgefield. And that is an important game for the Darien girls basketball team as they look to uh, get into the FCAC tournament. So play resumes here at Darien High School. Darien starts with the ball. Year five for the Blue Wave consists of Will roll out Peter Bradle, Justin Jordan, Jack Tierney, and Mitchell Pryor. Roll up with the ball. Backing his way out, trying to make something happen. As we stated, no play clock. Tierney open underneath. Puts no good. Spin, no good again. And Stanford comes up with the rebound. Tyler Lancedell came actually down on himself pretty hard, so he looks pretty shaken up on that play. Tierney uh, has really come out aggressive here on the boards in the second half. Just wasn't able to convert that last time down the floor. Jordan with the floater, no good. Pryor with the rebound and the foul. As you stated, Tierney, along with many other players on this, this Darien team, has kind of awoken and started to get those rebounds. You know, in the first half, there's not many rebounds from the Darien team. That, that second chance opportunity is just very limited to, limited to none. To your point, he has been much more active on the boards here in the second half. He usually averages about three rebounds per game. His high for the season was six rebounds. That was versus McMahon. Prior at the line, missed his first shot. Second shot is up, no good. Tierney with the rebound, passes it to a open Stanford player who then gets fouled. That is their captain, Jelani Jackson. You know, we've talked a lot about uh, Jay Judon for the Black Knights. The freshman had 23 points in that win over McMahon the other night. And a textbook fast break that time, Brendan Ross, by the Stanford Black Knights. Exactly. Thurvel to Bell for the easy two-point. Fast, easy fast break, two-on-one situation. And that's a backcourt violation. So 6.42 remaining in this game, a four-point Stanford lead. And a pretty good crowd here at Darien High School for this one, as you would expect on a Friday night in the middle of the winter. Nice. Shot is up and is good. Yeah, nice pull up that time by Judon. Impressive player for a freshman. Bradle looked to be taking a shot on the hand. A little and, shaken up. And that time, Rolap is able to get to the rim. He just landed awkwardly and kind of threw up the shot. Inbound for Stanford. Number 21, Jay Judon, the point guard, bring it up court, passes it back out. That's a tip ball, loose ball. I believe that went off of Jack Tierney. So the ball will stay with Stanford. 38 Stanford, 32 Darian, 6.08 left in the fourth quarter. Stanford 
in this game, Darian leads the rebounding stat column with 23 rebounds and Stanford with 18. Darian with the ball, Tierney working his way up court. Euro step, no good, off the window. Stanford with the rebound. They're bringing it up court, fast paced. Pass it out, trying to slow it down. Thurvell with the ball. Passes it to Jaden Bell, back to Thurvell. Stanford head coach Zach Smith, he likes to push the pace and take advantage of opportunities, but in the McMahon win, as that shot is off the mark, in the McMahon win, they slowed the pace down a little bit in that fourth quarter, took higher percentage shots, and as a result, beat the Senators. Darby with the second chance opportunity is no good. That three was taken by Will Rolap. Uncontested shot. Bradle comes out. Williams comes in. Bradle looked to be holding his hand. So I believe he was shaken up on a couple plays back. Foul was committed by Andrew Darby on the Darian side. So number 21, Jay Judon, is at the line. Darby's subbed out for Mitchell Pryor. So 5.06 left in this one. Stanford up six. Judon makes it seven. Gets the first shot. Judon at the line. There's Jack Roberson. Blue Wave basketball player. Roll out, bringing it up court. Very oh. exciting game here at the campus of Darren High School. Jordan working his way in. The teardrop, that's good. Two points for the Blue Wave. Great body control that time in the air by Jordan as he gets it to uh, go down, just falls over the front of the rim. Blocked by Mitchell Pryor. Just couldn't keep it in bounds, but a nice play by Mitchell Pryor with a block. Goes out of bounds, Stanford retains possession. That's another new player on the team this year alongside Justin Jordan, who's not really a new player, he's a turning player, but Mitchell Pryor, not really in the uh, basketball there in high school. Score books and first season with the Blue Wave. Had the chance to talk with him before the season started. He was really excited about playing basketball for the Blue Wave this season as Stanford turns it over. Obviously a big part of the football team in the fall for Darian was Mitchell Pryor, leading running back for the Blue Wave as they won their third straight state championship. Hard to believe, a lot of success. Substitution for the Black Knights. Lance Hiddell comes in for Jaden Bell. Jordan with a deep three, no good. Front rim, Jack Tierney with the rebound. Roll up with the three. That's good, splash. And Jack Tierney made that happen. Great offensive rebound, kicks it out to a wide open Will Rollap, and as you said, splash. And Nothing those, but net that time. Those second chance opportunities right there, that's what wins you games. Stanford had was leading that stat column in the first half. That's why they got up to that 15 point run, five point run. Darian now has it, and they're down by a couple points. And Darian, you can Great. see, has picked up its intensity on defense, but that is a silencer right there. And they call a timeout, Darian. As uh, Jelani Jackson, the six foot two inch senior forward with a big three and a crucial point as Stamford goes up by six again. Darian keeps chipping away at the lead, keeps chipping away at the lead, but they just can't get over the top. Can't get over that hump. As Stanford has led throughout in this FCAC boys basketball matchup. As you said, crowd silencer. Shocked by, we were actually talking to the ref at halftime. We were all surprised that not many students were here on hand for this competition tonight. I saw a few students roll in at halftime. Obviously our DAF uh, 
media viewers can't really see it with our camera angles, but uh, the bleachers are on our side of the court from our broadcast location. And uh, pretty good crowd on hand here at Darien High School. And uh, you're fresh off the swim meet. Yes, fresh call, off the swim meet. Call in the game, you uh, guys uh, competed against uh, the Stamford West Hill team, right? Yep, co West team. Hill co-op team. Darien came away with the 95 to 79 victory. That pushes our record to 3-1-1, one, one, I believe, with our tie coming against a uh, very historic Greenwich. So it's a good good season, good start for the, the boys' swim and dive team. Our next matchup will be against Wilton this Wednesday, which I believe Darian, the DAF Media Network will be covering. That's very exciting to be the first live-streamed matchup versus Wilton this Wednesday. Very exciting. That is the plan, to live stream that boys swimming and diving meet against Wilton next Wednesday from the Darien YMCA. Had the opportunity to head over to the Y this afternoon. Great facility there. They've done a lot of renovations the last few years. Darien still with the ball. Roll up with the inbound. Roll up with a three. Splash. And right Another now, three ball. Yeah, right now, uh, Will Rollap can't miss from beyond the arc. Two he's, big threes for the junior guard. As you said, he's getting hot, and that's what they need. Not many players on this, not your high-key players in this game are really showing up um, to this, this game tonight, and that's what you need is your secondary players coming up, putting in the points, putting in the work. Jordan with the foul. That sends number 21 for Stanford, Jay Judon, to the line. The score is Stanford 43, Darian 40, 255 remaining in the fourth quarter. First free throw is no good for Judon, so Darian comes up with the rebound. And they're going to see if they can get a lead here. That's a foul on St. John. 244 remaining in the third or fourth quarter, sorry. And that foul sends Justin Jordan, your leading scorer in tonight's game, up to the line. So in the bonus now, so Justin Dor Jordan will go to the line one and one here. 24 points on the night. Make that 25. I believe he is five for five at the line tonight. Jordan has had another Nice all-around game for the Blue Wave. Make that six for six. 26 points for Justin Jordan, your starting senior point guard. And that's a timeout. So a timeout at the 244 mark. We've got 244 left in the game. And Darianne head coach Sheroy Bentley, no doubt, wants to talk a little bit about what they're going to do on defense here, this time down the floor. But this has turned out to be a really fun game to watch tonight here from Darien High School. Certainly didn't start out that way if you're a Blue Wave fan as Stanford uh, jumped out to an early lead over the Blue Wave. Can't beat a Friday night hoops game. Back to back Friday for DAF Media where both games, both Fridays were very high paced, high exciting matchups. Last weekend, last Friday it was versus McMahon which Darien came away with the the win, and now it's versus Stanford. Hopefully we could do the same here. Yeah, it was a entertaining game to say the least last Friday night against Brian McMahon. Big win for Darian, their first conference win of the season. And their record on the season is three and five. Last season they're actually 14 and six. Made it a couple rounds in the state playoff games. So they're looking to make it back and Make it even farther this season. So, play resumes here. Fourth quarter. 2.32 remains in the fourth quarter. Lancedell with the ball. Passes it to St. John. Double teamed. No play clock as we stated. Jordan applying pressure. Seemed to be a all ball there on that, on that block, but... 
the refs can say otherwise. That's what Justin Jordan thought. He got all ball, played great defense that time on uh, Judon. But Judon will go to the line after drawing the foul. So quick with the basketball. One and one here for Jay Judon. He makes the first one. Jay Judon, only a freshman, has certainly a bright future for the Black Knights. Second free throw, off the front rim, Lancedell over top of Mitchell Pryor. Loose ball, coming to our set. Well, that is the first time we've had a ball hit our broadcast location. So, almost had my uh, debut steal in the game. <laughs> Yeah, that came right at us. So, two minutes remaining in this one in what has been an entertaining second half. Stanford up two. Judon, just informed me by Ted Brennan, Judon has seven points in this matchup. So, 145 remaining in the fourth quarter. Stanford with the ball. Seems like Jay Judon has had more points than that, but Darian done a pretty good job on him in this game. Obviously scouted him and knew he was a focal point for this Black Knights team. Three ball by Thurvels, no good. Front rim, get the rebound. No good by St. John, and Jack Tierney comes away with it. Once again, second chance opportunities. Stanford almost had that one there, but Darian. So St. John whistled for the foul, and Henry Williams will go to the line to shoot one and one. Substitutions. Number 10, Tyreem Burgess comes on for the Black Knights. Well, buckle up here for this final minute 23 because it uh, looks like this one's going right down to the wire. One and one here for Henry Williams. Makes the first one, sinks that one. Your five for the Blue Wave consists of Justin Jordan. We'll roll up Henry Williams at the line right now. Mitchell Pryor and Jack Tierney. The second shot. Front rim, no good. Tierney almost with the rebound, but Thurville comes away with it. Works to the left side, gets away, and he's bringing it up court. We'll roll up on defense and timeout called by Stanford. So Zach Smith is gonna take a timeout for Stanford, a full timeout. Henry Williams, I'm watching him shoot free throws, has such a nice shot, such a pretty shot. Couldn't get the second foul shot to go down. Slides off the front of the rim. But uh, we've got ourselves a one point ball game here. Very close matchup, you can't beat this. With a minute 14 left as we take a look at the Stanford huddle there. Head coach Zach Smith is in there somewhere. He is a tall fella. And as I mentioned, played college ball at uh, Connecticut College, upstate. He replaced Danny Melzer, who is now the head boys basketball coach at New Canaan and a terrific guy. He's trying to build that Rams program there. And of course, Danny Melzer replaced the legend at Stanford High School, Jim Moriarty. It is who, actually... Uh, won over 400 games in his coaching career at the high school level. Of course, won that uh, FCAC championship in 2009. Stanford as a program has been to four state finals. The last time was in 1992. They beat Harding, Sheroy Bentley's alma mater, 71-70 to win the Class L state championship. For both teams, Jordan leads with 26 points, and for Stanford, St. John leads with 13. So, Minute six remaining in the fourth quarter. So here we go as uh, Darianne stays in a man-to-man -man defense, little trapping action near midcourt. Darianne really applying the pressure here. We're uh, under the minute here at Darianne High School. Stanford's trying to make something happen, and that is a foul and on Darianne. Roll lap, will roll lap called for the foul. Substitutions for both teams. And number 21, Jay Judon. 
back at the line. First free throw is good. Jack Tierney comes on for Peter Bradle. And Jaden Bell comes off for Tyreem Burgess. Second free throw is good. Scores now 45, 46 to 43. Sorry, the top of the backboard is constructing our view. Sheroy Bentley, kind of a funny moment over on the sideline. He emphasized to the official he wanted a full timeout. And that's what he's going to get here. So he's got some time to talk it over with his players as his team is down by three in what has really been a entertaining second half, to say the least. And again, got to mention our DAF Media Network crew working tonight's game. Ben Olson directing and doing a fine job at that. Ted Brennan on stats. Camera one, Kara Tracy and Emily Finland. And camera two, Jackson Leone bringing us the pictures right there of that Darian huddle as head coach Sheroy Bentley tries to devise a plan here. The final 48 seconds of this one. Can't beat it. Friday night hoops. So Darian's looking for a looking for a guy to step up here. Possibly drain a three. They got 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Will roll up. Been your main three-pointer guy for this game, has eight points. Justin Jordan, as I stated, has 26 points in this matchup. Burst the Black Knights, he is inbounding to Will Rollap, who brings it up court. 42 seconds remaining, Williams with the ball on the right side. Stanford in a man-to-man -man defense. Little tip of the ball, Jordan recovers it. Trying to make something happen. Takes a drive. Crosses over. Floater. No good. Lands it out with the rebound. And that is a foul on Jack Tierney. So Jordan, nice pick by Mitch Pryor up top at the top of the key to free Jordan to the basket. Just a little bit too hard with the shot. And but, that he, but he's the guy you want with the ball late in the game if you're Darianne, and that is Justin Jordan. And that foul leads Tyler Lancedell to the line for two shots. First one is no good, hits the back rim, comes off. Score is 46, Stanford and Darianne 43, 24.3 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Stands, crowd is coming alive here at Darianne High School. Both free throws are no good. Real roll up comes up with the ball over to Jordan. Pass to Williams. Jordan on the ground. Williams driving. Roll up. And he gets a foul. And that's going to be a foul on Jay Judon, the freshman. And Will Rollap will head to the line shooting one and one. Getting very loud here at Darien High School. Yeah, the Darien student section starting to get into it here with the. Uh, 12.3 seconds remaining in this one. Darian down three. Roll up at the line, shooting one and one. And uh, these are big shots coming up right here. Pryor is on the court right now. First one is good. Pryor is on the court. Williams is off the court. Bradle's in. So your five consists of Peter Bradle, Justin Jordan. Will roll up Mitchell Pryor and Jack Tierney. Will roll up at the line for his second shot. And that shot is good. So, timeout called. Stanford leads by one point, 46 to 45, with 12.3 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Damien, what does Darian have to do on this play, this drive, to shut down this Stanford offense? Well, I think you got to get the ball in the hands of Jordan and uh, see if he can create. They did a nice job the last time down the floor offensively. Pryor came up to the top of the key. Nice pick. Freed up Jordan. He got to the basket just a little too hard off the glass. But uh, 
I think you definitely want to have the ball in Jordan's hand. I mean, he has had a terrific game again for the Darianne Blue Wave. And uh, I'm excited. Very 12 excited. 12 seconds left here. This is a good one. Uh, it's been a terrific second half. Action packed. First quarter, first half was not very eventful. Stanford was coming away with a very long scoring run, scoring lead. And then after that halftime break, Darian came away with it. Started getting those second chance opportunities, which led to where we are now. Stanford leads Darian 46 to 45. Foul from Darian, 9.3 seconds remaining. Peter Bredo was called for the foul. Henry Williams is gonna sub in. And it's two shots for Josh Thurville of the Black Knights. So these are two big shots again for Thurville. Looks like this game is gonna be won at the free, free throw line by one of these two teams here. Getting very loud here at Darien High School. Not, don't know if you can hear it in the background. Thurville with the first shot and that's good. And that was about as pure as they come. Timeout called. That is a full timeout. Darian is out of timeouts with Stanford has one more remaining. Yeah, that was their final timeout, Darian. You know, you had asked me a moment ago, what does Darian do? And here I am thinking they're on offense, saying that they got to get the ball in Jordan's hand. They were actually on defense there. So obviously at that point, you want to man up and, and play strong defense. But uh, now it's really a kind of a, a chess match between these two coaches, if you will, here. Gets down to this The final, final 10 moments. seconds of the game. Yeah, final moments of the game. It usually results in putting the, the players at the free throw lines. Famous hack -a shack rule in the NBA. That's <laughs> what's commonly referred to as those final minutes where you foul a player and try to put the worst percentage foul shooter at the line. So... Yeah, Shaq was not one of the better foul shooters and Hall of Famer, but not for his free throw shooting. No, he was not. To say the least. So, we are here, Darian High School. 9.3 seconds remaining. Stanford leads Darian, 47-45. Josh Thurvell is at the line. Stanford only with one man on that free throw line. Crowd is getting restless here. Shot is up, and that's good. All net. Tierney with the inbound to Jordan. Trying to work it up quickly. Got to get a deep three up. No good. Foul by Mitchell Pryor. 2.4 seconds remaining. And Stanford's up by three. And that was a little bit of a forced shot there by Justin Jordan. Deep, deep three out front. So, Darianne down by three. Stanford at the line, Jay Judon. Not only is Jay Judon a good point scorer, but he's a good free throw scorer. Sinks the first one. That puts it to four points of a lead. Darianne's next competition is against Wilton on January 23rd at home. That's a strong Wilton team. Pryor gets the rebound. Jordan with the half-court shot off the window. No good. So, final score here at Darien. Stanford wins 49-45. to That concludes it here. Damien, final thoughts. Well, that is a big win for Stanford. Obviously a disappointing loss for the Blue Wave and head coach Sheroy Bentley. They really needed that to kind of get some momentum in FCAC play because time's running out. Even though there's a lot of time left, there's uh, really the whole second half of the season to go. They got to start making strides here in conference play if they hope to, if they hope to uh, get into the FCAC tournament. Um, and obviously they've got a little bit of work to do still to get into the state tournament as well to qualify for state play. So a, a disappointing loss for the Blue Wave. On the flip side, a huge win for Stanford as they try to, uh, as they try to uh, get into the FCAC uh, tournament this season. Obviously uh, head coach Zach Smith 
uh, has a lot to be happy about with this win. As I mentioned during the broadcast, had the chance to talk to him uh, before the game. Really one of the quality guys in the coaching ranks here in uh, Connecticut, in southwestern Connecticut. But uh, he'll take this one and run to the bus and drive back to Stanford because a road win in the FCAC is big. Especially a loud Darian home, uh, home court. But not only was it a loss, but I believe Darian... This is gonna. Darian can use this to their their advantage. This game, they come in to a strong five and four Stanford team, and that shows that Darian has that that will and that play that they can come back and play against a strong team. Next up for Darian is Wilton on January 23rd, as I stated, at home. That's a six and two Wilton team. Next up for Stanford is at home versus Greenwich on January 23rd. That is a four and five Greenwich team. Our next stream is tomorrow, boys hockey versus the number one ranked team in Connecticut. That's Fairfield Prep at 6 o'clock. We hope to see you there. For myself, Damian Andrew, Ted Brennan, who actually will stop that quickly. Ted Brennan has a final stats report. Ted. <clears throat> Thanks, Brendan. Uh, the leading scorer for the Stanford Black Knights was Tavon, uh, Tevin St. John with 13 points. He shot a Pretty cool, 71%. Uh, it was five for seven. Uh, Tyler Lanzadale, uh, St. John, and Jay Judon led the way with four rebounds apiece, and St. John had two assists. For your Darian, Blue Wave. Justin Jordan had a hot 26, nine for 14 from the field, which is 64%. He was two for four from downtown. He. He had one assist along with Will Rolap and Peter Bradle, each tallying one assist. And the leading rebounder was your captain, Jack Tierney. Thanks, Ted, for that. As we stated, Ted Brennan was your stats man for the game tonight. So, for myself, Damian Andrew, Ted Brennan, Ben Olsen on producing, Jack Leon, Jackson Leone on camera two. And Kara Tracy and Emily fin Finland on the stands for camera one. We thank you for joining us tonight at Darien High School. Stanford wins 49 to 45. Hope to see you tomorrow night. So long, everybody. <laughs>